Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you failed the FE exam before, you're definitely not alone. And even if it feels like you're stuck right now, there's still a way to move forward. Now, one of the biggest mistakes we see students make after failing the FE exam is that they keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. Same study habits, same materials, same routine. But if it didn't work the first time, doing it again probably won't change much and so to see different results you need a different approach so this is the time where you need to take a step back and really ask yourself how am i studying what materials am i using am i reviewing enough am i focusing on the right topics the right problems the right concepts the ones that actually show up on the fe exam do i truly understand the concepts or am i just memorizing how to solve specific problems and so failing the fe exam shouldn't discourage you but it should give you guys a chance to pause reflect and identify what's not working because once you figure that out then you can find a solution that will actually get you results. Up next, we're going to hear from two civil students, Romel and Ronald. Now, they both failed the FE exam, but for totally different reasons. And what they had in common is that they didn't keep repeating the same mistakes. They changed their approach, and that made all the difference. So now let's hear how they did it. Can you walk us a little bit through the first time you took it? Was it also in 2024? So I think I took it in maybe March of 2024. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, maybe I didn't study the best. It, I studied for a very long time the first time. I think I went through your program twice, but I think that maybe uh, made me uh, more anxious because I was keep doing the same thing. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I think the, the second time I, I felt really great going through the program. I think I was more overwhelmed because um, I had, I tried to finish all these problems that I, I was asking Rim. I was like, do you think I can finish within this amount of time? Uh, Were there any valuable lessons that you learned that helped you succeed on your second attempt? But I think one thing was, I think you can't really be motivated. It's, it's more of like a, it's more of like a schedule. Like if you can stick to the schedule, I think that kind of beat like my motivation because that can't, that can kind of wane um but i think yeah sticking to that uh trying to have more balance in my life i think i neglected a, a few things i was probably overwhelmed with maybe other aspects of my life um the first time and then i kind of found more balance with that in the second time did you feel like our course helped you pass your fe exam um yeah did it help <laughs> did it help you yeah i think each uh each video i watched kind of went into the night it did it did build upon uh what you learned previously so i i think the i don't know for me it was like the the math i was like i kind of forgot math already at one point so it, that was helpful the statics yeah it was i think everything the way it was structured it did build upon and i i kind of thought that as i was going into the next subject um you know it was helpful everything i learned previously um and so i probably i did probably feel more confident too now, how do you feel that you have your EIT? Uh, I, I feel like it's just a, it's just the next step. It, I, I think you said that uh, I did celebrate. Um, I guess I was in the week after I did celebrate. I was in Japan. So, wow. um, yeah, I got to celebrate there just for, for that day and after. Were you frustrated during the time? as you're trying to get this done and then life hits you and you're like, ah, oh, not again. And then, you know what I mean? Like, what was your reaction during those moments? I was hoping to, to take the exam in 2022 okay. and then study for the P right away. I was on the track on doing that. Um, on December of 2022, it was very busy because my wife, uh, we have to go to the hospital a few times uh, because, you know, she was swollen or her foot and everything. So she couldn't, it, it, she wasn't bad, but we, they have to keep an, on, on, you know, on, on eye on her because of the diabetes or something. And there is a lot of stuff happening at work too. I have more, more, you know, they give you more projects to work on. I wasn't, 
I wasn't the helper as I, you know, we used to be in the first years. Oh, you know, you have some more cups. They give you, hey, now you have to do this. There's this grading plan. There's this, this, and this. We have deadline next, you know, next, whatever, next month, Friday. So you have to get it done. I want to ask you this. What drives you? So the, to answer to your question is my daughter. Um, mm. My daughter, actually, I want, you know, I want to, I want to do it because of her. That's the first thing. I want to do it because of my wife and my family, you know, my mom, dad, sister, everyone that actually helped me during college. I would say last thing, but it's, it's, I would say it's the first thing professional is my boss asking me to get my PE. When I was in college, the professor would just write into board, make everything complicated. I don't know for what reason, but you explain things. And I was like, okay, this makes sense. You might be going to stick to your head right away, but guess what? You can replay and you're going to stick to your head. So it's easy. How did passing the FE affect your life? I got to be honest, like I set my mindset to get the PE. So the FE is just a step closer for the PE. So it keeps me like rolling, you know, like because I want to get done with this. So it's just yeah. giving like more motivation to finish my goal and not to postpone it.